Good morning, YouTube. Today we're going to be doing some sand bass fishing. Uh, I'm out here at the river. Um, hadn't done this in about seven years, to be honest with you. Used to do it all the time. And uh, anyway, some things happen. I'll tell you about it later on the next video. But I'm going to come out here and check it out. So we're out here in Chandler, Nature's River. And uh, not many people out here. I don't think they're here, but I figured I'm going to come out and try. So you know, today we're using the ACC crappie stick. I'm using the uh, Fluger uh, Tryon 30 series reel and we're gonna just see what we can do man I used to fish this every year it was something that I just did constantly uh, it was just amazing but I'm gonna go through and show you guys some things to look for the river is kind of down today there's not a whole lot of uh, current so it's gonna change my fishing a tad bit but We'll see what happens, guys. So y'all stay with me and let's see if we can throw some fish on the bank. I'm an American. And I'm a citizen of this world and of heaven. Some things were meant to be together. I believe in faith and freedom. Got a country too. All right, guys, so today I'm at the Natchez River in Tyler, Texas, or actually Chandler, Texas, and I'm scouting for sand bass. So one of the things I alluded to uh, at the beginning of the video is uh, something that happened, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, my fishing partner, we used to fish out here all the time. The last time we went fishing together, we each caught 200. We had a little clickers, so we found a, a spot. It was just amazing. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away. It was not a very good circumstance, and I've not been back to this river in seven years, so this is the first time I've been back here. Got my boat fixed and I'm ready to go and hit some sand bass. So guys, this John boat is amazing. It's a 15 foot Aluma Weld, 25 horsepower Mercury uh, engine on there. And I have taken this boat up that river probably 150, 200 times easy. A duck hunted with it, but the sand bass are what's gonna be on right now and that's what we're gonna be targeting. So we're gonna do a little, little different fishing than normal, but it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully we'll teach you guys how to Catch some sand bass here in East Texas. Well, you're a little bit early for this anyway, so. Uh, when does the, the strop start running next month, right? Nah, well, they'll start, oh, uh, well, out in the middle of the lake, you mean? So what runs they, here in the next couple months? Uh, well, sand bass are gonna start here. There, there's some in here now. So they'll they'll start. Pretty much anything that's colorful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, white and, and a pink yeah. or orange. Yeah, see, that's, that will, that's good. All right, guys, so this is uh, one of the places that is fished a lot. You come down here when they're actually running this whole bank. You can see all the footprints down here. The people have been here. Um, let me get up to this side. People wade right out in there on those stumps. We're a little bit early for this, but anyway, so this right here, I'll show you this it's a little island right out here that I'm looking at and uh, the water comes right through here it's real shallow through here uh, not I mean you will catch some fish in there but most of these fish are gonna be over in that corner what happens the river channel comes down here it's not going fast right now river channel will come in it will kind of swirl through there and come back around what these uh, sand bass are looking for when they're spawning is a very shallow uh, very no current it's got to be a very calm area so uh, I'll find some other spots up here after a while and, and show you I'm gonna go back down south right now I really don't think there's much up here uh, kind of see the current right in there let me just go ahead and do another cast right through here for the fun of it up in that shallow area there we go that sank just a tad bit it's a lot of brush in here guys so you got to be very very careful um, but those sand bass will not spawn in a heavy current they've got to have a current but not a big one so they're going to find those insides um, like right out where I just cast is going to be a very good spot for sand bass uh, to spawn because it is shallow 
the current's going to be coming more from this direction and then working its way back in that river channel so right in there will be very calm that's what we're looking for they can't spawn in a fast current because well the eggs gonna fly everywhere but they need a little bit of current so the male can come in fertilize the fish and or fertilize the eggs and then they'll hatch from there man there is somebody up north i mean i need to go up there and try it i think i will just for the fun of it. i'll go up north see guys this is what drives me crazy look at this people out here fishing brought their trash just left it golly man if i had a bag i'd pick it up but this place is about to get littered because there's gonna be hundreds of people out here fishing and nobody's picking their trash up it's ridiculous all right guys so look let me show you what this is and the only way to figure this out is really look at a map or have a boat and normally i'm in a boat but so right out here so this is the main river channel coming right here you can see some some uh current coming through it's not much but like right up in there it's a great pay place for sand bass right over there and that mouth is also a good place there will be a current going there but not very much because what that does that actually goes back to a lake it's a neat little lake if you get out there fishing i've caught sand bass in there uh plenty of times but the water's got to be up so when this water comes up you see where i'm standing right now this is usually underwater make all the way back up into to that area back there and that current is moving so one thing you got to do is learn to read the lake i'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute <laughs> it's always funny guys if you look you probably can't see them in here but there's a lure right there there's a lure right there one two three four five lures that you see there's a sixth one there they're shining because they're all using spoons out here <laughs> that's what i'm using today i'm gonna show you that so i'm using a spoon with a uh uh, body made by Mark Williams uh, white so using a basically a red pink head and uh, Mark's body with a spoon on there so hopefully we'll catch something I don't know guys it's pretty early let's try a few more casts there we go it's a good area Ah, uh, thought I had a little bite there. I think it's a little log. And guys, it's it, don't ever give up till you see your jig. I've had these fish come all the way up and bite it right, literally right there. It doesn't take them much, man. They they'll get in here and start chomping on you. They'll catch it right at the last minute. So guys, just to show you, this used to be one of my honey holes here. You see there's a nice current coming through here, especially when that water is up. That current will come straight down here, hit this bank, and roll back that direction, and keep moving. So right up in there is where those sand bass will be. They'll be hanging out in the uh, slower water, getting ready to spawn, or spawning, depending on what time of year it is. It's not quite there yet, um, but this, this river gets real deep. You can see right there the drop off. This goes straight down because that water has just moved all this bank out of here. Over there, it's real shallow, and that's what they're going to be looking for. <laughs> all right, guys, so if, just to let y'all know, if you're fishing in this area, there are wild hogs out here. There's a lot of them. And I just got a smell of them. I don't see them. God, scared me to hit a bush. Uh don't see them but they will chase you um, so keep an eye out on I've seen them on the bank when I'm driving in the boat and those suckers especially if they have babies they are aggressive Whew. so guys I can't harp enough on the fact that you need to learn the river you know you can fish it get out here and start fishing it but really pay attention to where your currents are it's gonna take time uh, like this river for instance man it fluctuates based on how the currents are i know i've talked about it before but you're getting these areas right here so again you can follow the current you see how it's coming like this it's going to come right on this bank and then you got some structure there it's going to push it back out and then go back around so right on the other side of these limbs that are sitting right out here is 
slow water. Right back in there is shallow. You can see some things sticking up. Shallow water, slow water. That's what we're looking for on sand bass fishing. So I'm not gonna let it sink too far there. I'm gonna reel in slow. Let it go kind of toward the bottom. Sometimes I'll, I'll go faster. Just kind of depends on where I find the fish and when I find the fish. <laughs> right now I'm not finding the fish. But you see, I threw out that direction. My line's already out there, so it's a pretty good current. And I gotta reel in a little bit faster when I get close here because there are stumps sitting right out there that have not been moved. All right, guys, so just uh, kind of give you an idea here. Again, I keep saying this, read the lake. I know we talked about that over there, or back over there, but read the lake, guys. Look at how it all moves. So this is what's gonna happen, and you've got to find those non-turbulent uh, waters, I guess. Right now, it's pretty much all non-turbulent. You have a lot of current right here in the middle, but not a ton. So over on those sides, that bank, Golly, I've got a brush right over my head. That's not where I want to go, but that will work. Out in there is going to be your non-turbulent water. Your turbulent water is going to be right here up to where I am, because that's where that creek is going to come straight through here. Ooh, all right, guys. Did not catch a thing today. Didn't expect to. Uh, nobody else is here. I mean, there's about three people fishing right now. That's about it. But uh, I did want to just kind of get out here and take a look at it, because I'm going to be on the lake here on this river in my boat. Guys, stay tuned because we are going to start doing some sand bass fishing. I uh, got some other things. I know I've been doing a lot of live scope, but I got some other things coming up. I'm um, going to be doing some cane pole fishing and uh, for crappie. And a little secret thing that I learned probably 15 years ago, a place where everybody catches fish on a on an old bridge. And when they're not catching fish, I can catch fish using a cane pole. I'll show you how that works. So y'all stay tuned. We'll make it happen, but hopefully you guys learned something from this. Y'all take care. Um, have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.